Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 27th of 2021. Well, it is titled Perseverance Landing Site from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. So what do we see here? Well, this is, as it says, an image taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbit Orbiter, which is an orbiter or going around the planet Mars and studying it in great detail from above and taking many high resolution images, as we see here, of the interior of what is known as the Jezero Crater. Now what we're seeing are some of the highlighted areas are different parts of the Perseverance rover. The rover itself is a little below center here and is labeled and is kind of at the center of those two brighter regions there. That would have been the uh, results of the exhaust of the descent stage when it was lowering it the rocket exhaust there would have cleared up some areas and you see those two as brighter regions and right in the middle would be the Perseverance rover. The descent stage itself is a little bit to the left of center and that you can see that V shape that was the one that was rocket powered and performed the sky crane remover that lowered the rover down to its location. Once it did it was then jetted a safe distance away as you can see here and that's where it crashed into the surface of Mars leaving that little bit of debris field. We see a couple other things off to the left of that we can see the parachute and back shell. So parachute was the first re first slowing of the orbiter, uh, sorry of the rover as it went to Mars. So when it first got into the atmosphere, it slowed down through atmospheric friction. And once it slowed down enough, the parachute was expelled out and used that to slow down. However, because of how thin Mars's atmosphere was, it was only able to slow it down so much. And then it had to be ejected and released. And that's when the descent stage took over. So we see the parachute and back shell off over to the far left hand side. Now on the other side on the far right the dark spot is the heat shield. So when it began to enter the atmosphere it needed something to protect it from the friction. So just as when uh, spacecraft re-enter Earth's atmosphere they need some kind of heat shielding to keep them from burning up. The same is true of the rover. So the, the heat shield was one of the parts that first protected it as it was beginning to rush through the atmosphere of Mars beginning the descent stage which we looked at previously considered the seven minutes of terror uh, as it did. And then as it came in, the heat shield was ejected, which allowed the cameras from Perseverance to be able to look and to follow the landing site that had been planned for it. So the heat shield is ejected way off there on the right hand side. Now to give a sense of scale, each of those boxes is about 650 feet across. So the square there is 650 feet on a side. So that's why you can't see the rover itself. The rover is much smaller than that, a tiny fraction of it. So the rover itself would barely be a, a dot on this scale. But it does allow us to get an idea and to see all of the parts that happened to land the Perseverance rover on Mars a little over a week ago. So that was our picture of the day for February the 27th of 2021. It was titled Perseverance Landing Site from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Northern Lights. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.